What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on Juice and Toya. Hey, welcome back. Today we'll be taking you all through a 30 minute full body strength workout. Let's get it. This is gonna be a great workout for all fitness levels, especially beginners, as we'll be giving you some audio cues throughout the workout to help you with form on the exercises. All you're gonna need for this workout is a pair of dumbbells. Because this is full body, you'll want multiple sets of weights if you have them available. For reference, I'll be using 15s and 10s today. And I'll be using 20s and 25s. For the workout format, we're gonna split this up into three groups. We're going five exercises of lower body, five exercises of upper body, and then three exercises of core. We're gonna do each of these groups for two sets. We're going 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, and then in between those three groups, we'll give you a long 30 seconds second break, all right? So like she mentioned, we will be guiding you through this workout with audio cues just to make sure your form is on point and correct. So go as hard as you can for each and every exercise. We're gonna take you all through a quick warm up now and then we'll get right into the workout. Hey, let's get it. First up, we're going to start off with front squats. We'll have both dumbbells with our palms facing our body, and we're going to sit down into a squat as low as we can while keeping our core engaged and our chest as tall as possible. And a big key to doing any type of squat is keeping the weight into the heels and keeping your core engaged to ensure that you're using your quads and your glutes throughout each and every rep.
Next up, we have front loaded deadlifts. We're gonna start off with both dumbbells in hand with our palms facing our body. We're gonna press our hips back as far as possible until you feel some tension in your hamstrings and glutes. From there, we'll stand up and squeeze your glutes at the top. And a big key with deadlifts is making sure your core is engaged, your weight is in your heels, and making sure your shoulder blades are nice and pulled back to ensure that your lower back is flat and not engaged in the movement. Next up, we have a split squat. We're gonna start off with one dumbbell in a goblet position, and we're gonna get into a split stance. Drop that back knee as low as we can to the ground while keeping the front knee around 90 degrees. A big key here is making sure that your chest is nice and tall to ensure that you're not using your back and you're keeping your core engaged. Now we're going to switch to the left side. Be sure to keep your chest nice and tall and your core engaged with every single rep. Last but not least, we have a side squat. We'll start off with a single dumbbell in a wide split position. We'll hinge and bend our knee to one side while reaching that dumbbell toward the inside of our foot. We'll sit as low as possible and return back to that starting position. We'll switch hands and then go on the other side. The big key to this movement is hinging our hips as far as we can, sitting back and keeping our chest as tall as possible to ensure that we're keeping the movement out of our lower back. Great job that does it for set one. We're gonna repeat all of these movements one more time. So if you have any confusion with any of the movements, just refer back to that first set if you need any of those audio cues.
So first up, we have a wide shoulder press. We're gonna begin with arms in a goal post position and we're gonna press those dumbbells straight up overhead and lower back down to goal post position. The key to keep good form here is to make sure you squeeze your glutes and keep that core engaged as you press up. This will help to keep you from using your lower back. So next up we have neutral rows. We're gonna begin in a hinge back position as if we're doing a deadlift and we're gonna row those dumbbells back keeping our elbows tight to our body and squeezing the shoulder blades. The key here is to ensure you're keeping your weight back in your heels and keeping that core engaged to make sure you have a neutral spine and a flat back. Next up, we have a supine bicep curl. We're gonna begin with the palms facing forward and we're gonna curl the dumbbells up towards the shoulders. The key here is to make sure that you're keeping your core nice and engaged and those elbows tight to your body so that you're not swinging up the dumbbells and to ensure that you're isolating the biceps. Next we have the French press and we're going to begin by grabbing the dumbbell by the neck and we're going to bring it up overhead and just like in the shoulder press we're going to make sure we're squeezing our glutes and keeping our core engaged to ensure that we're not using our lower back. You're going to press that dumbbell straight up overhead squeezing the triceps and as you lower down try to keep those elbows in tight. So next we have a wide chest press. We're gonna begin on the ground with the dumbbells up overhead and the legs tabletop to help engage our core. We're gonna lower the dumbbells out wide and make sure that you're engaging the chest here to help you lower those dumbbells down and then also engage that chest as you're pressing the dumbbells back up to starting position.
All right, so now that we're finished with set one, make sure you use the same cues throughout the exercises in set two. If you have any trouble with any of the exercises, revert back to those cues to help you with proper form. So next 
step, we have a half sit up. So we're gonna start in a V-sit position with the feet on the ground, chest nice and tall, and holding the dumbbell by the neck at the chest. We're gonna slowly lower ourselves back, keeping the chest nice and tall and engaging that core, and then returning to the starting position. Make sure to keep that chest tall and core engaged to keep you from using your lower back. Next up, we have a jackknife. We're gonna start off in a dead buck position. We'll have our knees elevated at 90 degrees and we'll hold the weight by the sides right above our eyes. We're gonna extend both our arms and legs at the same time. We'll tap our heels to the ground while keeping our back flat and core engaged. And then we'll return back to that starting position. If you feel like these are just too difficult for your core, you can do this without weight as well. we have a dumbbell pull through. So we're gonna begin in a high plank on your palms and make sure here to squeeze your glutes and tuck your rib cage to help engage your core. We're gonna begin with the dumbbell behind one arm and you're gonna reach in with the opposite arm, pull that dumbbell across, making sure to keep your hips neutral facing the ground. Alternate sides here, keeping that core engaged and hips facing down. So now that we finished up with set one of our core exercises, make sure to utilize these cues as well through set two. If you have trouble with any of the form, make sure to go back to those cues that we used in set one.
Everybody, that wraps up the 30 minute full body dumbbell guided workout. Hopefully, got in a nice pump like Toy, a nice sweat oh, yeah. in with us today. And as you can see, a lot of these exercises were really basic, but hopefully, some of those guided cues really help you out with your form throughout the workout. If you felt like some of the exercises were still too difficult, feel free to go down and wait. And again, really use those guided cues to help you out with your form. So, really make this workout work for you. Oh, yeah. And if you really enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button or smash that super thanks button yes, below. Please. And Thank if you. you're new here or not new here make sure you subscribe to our channel we appreciate the support oh, yeah. and if you'd like to see more from juice and toya make sure you go check out some of the videos on our channel we've got more guided strength workouts hit workouts cardio workouts all the things that you need and we also have the juice and toya app oh, we've it. got recipes challenges programs nutrition all the things that you need to take your fitness to the next level we will link that down in the description below and also check out that juice and toya podcast oh, yeah. for more more helpful information along your health and fitness journey. Oh, yeah. All right. As always, we appreciate you for joining us today and we'll see you all at the next one.